When you're ready to send your quiz or your survey to your students, there's a few things you're going to want to do before you actually share it with them. So when you come up to the upper right hand side of the form that you are working on, you'll see the share button here. And when you click on share, um, you can see right now mine is defaulting to only people in my organization can respond. Usually it defaults to whatever the last choice here that you picked was. So you can see if I click on this drop down, if I want this to be available to anyone, meaning as soon as I send the link to somebody via email or I paste it somewhere, even if they're not part of my organization, I can click on anyone that with the link can respond and it will not prompt them to log in. Um, generally with students, we want to keep this as only people in my organization can respond because we do want the students to be forced to log in and this is what's going to make sure um, that the when they submit and they we have their answers, we know how each student did. Otherwise, it remains anonymous. So I'm going to leave that on here. And here is the link. Um, but there's a couple of other things that you should look at before you send this out. So if you click on this little ellipse over here and you click on settings, you're going to see some other features. So right now it's option for quiz show results automatically, which means as soon as the students submit their work, they'll be able to see what they got right and what they got wrong. Now, whether you want that on or off, that's your prerogative. Who can fill out this form? All right, we chose only people in my organization could respond and we selected record name one response per person. If you want them to be able to take it more than once, you might want to uncheck that. But this can be very important if you want to be able to see the results and accurately match the results with the student who put the answers in. You also have some other options here, accept responses, yes. Do you want to have a start date and end date as to when this form is available? If this is something that you are giving for homework and you have a certain cutoff date, you can select end date and then you can put in whatever the time and date is that you want this form to become unavailable. Do you want the question shuffled? If this is going to be an in-class in type of quiz, you may want to shuffle the questions. Um, do you want an email notification of it, each response? For those of us in our district, just be aware if you do click that, it's not going to go to your regular school mail, it's going to go to your Outlook within Office 365. And then do you want a customized thank you message, meaning once the students have submitted, um, there'll be a response at the screen that will, you know, give them some kind of message. Um, and those are the things that you just want to check before you click share to make sure you have everything set the way you want. If everything is set the way you want, you can click share um, and then you know again make sure this is the way you want it and you can copy this link over here and you can paste it in whatever format you want the students to be able to receive it so if you want the students to you want to email to them or you want to put it in OneNote you can put it in OneNote and I'll just show you a little quick thing that happens when you put this in OneNote so you can see here, I jumped over to one of my OneNote class notebooks. If this is the way that you want the students to take the test, you when you paste the forms link into here, if you are using um, the Office 365 version of OneNote, this is OneNote 2016, but it's for the Office 365 version, it will embed directly into the notebook um, so that when the students actually go to take it, they can actually take it within the confines of their notebook. It will appear a little bit smaller um, and there, you can't really make that much bigger. So this is going to be your judgment call. You see it, it did sort of modify it a little bit so that they could see it. But even the videos will play within here. If this is not the way that you want the students to take it or some students are struggling with it, they can click on the link and this will open it up in the browser and then they'll be able to see it a little bit bigger. They will be prompted to put in their username and password. The only reason it didn't for me is because I'm already logged in. Um, but this is another way that you can share your your form with your students. Uh, and that's about it. You just want to make sure you have the settings set the way you want and then you're ready to share it with your students.